Dennis has run with a lot of violence. Pressure on Kraft. He is going to go down. That's a sack for the Steelers. Nick Herbert, the rookie, fourth rounder from Wisconsin, whose brother Nate on the Steeler offense mentioned earlier making the play. Breakdowns all over the place, starting with Luke Gedeke at left tackle, just laid out of his stance. Not even. And another sack. He barely had time. Gather in the football. Nick Herbert again. Herberg is terrorizing this right side of the Bucks offensive line here and again he's working against Luke Gedeke and that's at least the second sack that Luke Gedeke has given up so Allen under center he's gonna throw it he's back pocket collapses and somebody got to him and he threw a wounded duck Nick Herbert got around the blocker well I don't know what he was looking at but I know that you had Nick Herbert coming off the corner knocking his arm beating Deion Dawkins like a rented mule I'll tell you here comes Nick Herbert. It's a forced fumble, and Herbert is going to change possessions again. He caused the fumble. The Steelers have it. It's the fourth turnover of the night. Tanner Muse is going to get it for the Steelers. Evans up the middle, going nowhere that time. Once again, it's Nick Herbert. Not only against the pass, but against the run. He was chatting with T.J. Watt on the sideline earlier, and you could tell those two, being from the same university, have a lot in common. You can see he's like a sponge of trying to absorb everything that T.J. Watt is telling him. And like Missy Matthews talked about last week and whenever he made a play, hey, does anybody else have any brothers on this team? <laughs> Herbick has a great first step, and he also has moves that he utilizes on a lot of these tackles that he faces. I mean, it was really something. That's a nice rush. We've seen Nick Herbig come up with some nice speed rushes. His ability to also get a ghost move in there. He's been working on that with TJ. This guy just keeps showing up. He's a ball player. One and a half sacks last week. Something he did really good at Wisconsin. He led the nation with 11 sacks while he was there. They looked to see what that next evolution here for Pittsburgh. He's working a lot with TJ Watt, Alex Hassanis. Being a sponge, you can see him out here delivering. It's been big for him in the couple quarters that he's played in his short career thus far. All right, so there it is. 24 to nothing. Steelers have another opportunity and say what you want about this young group. But Nick Herbig has done a great job in two games so far. We'll be right back. And that will be the final play of this first half. A run by Carlos Washington. Woodside pressure never saw it coming. Nick Herbig. The rookie out of Wisconsin. Jalen Mayfield from that right tackle spot just get beat inside. That's the last place you can get beat when you're throwing the football. It's a nice move on the inside, but that's not what you want to see. Immediate pressure in your face. Guess what? He didn't see it. No. Yeah. Tyler Brabel has been making some strides at taking that backup tackle spot. This time he got beat to the outside with the speed.